Las Vegas, welcome back to Off Script, a digital show to keep you in the know. First up, Raiders Nation, where you at? Raiders! All right, now, now we're good. Let's get to it. Yeah, we feel it. The Raiders announcing some new additions to the squad. Newly signed defensive tackle Christian Wilkins, along with newly signed quarterback Gardner Menchu, spoke to the media this week. Both players are extremely excited to be playing for the Silver and Black this season. Well, that'll do it. From Las Vegas, UNLV, the Lady Rebels, your Mountain West Conference Women's Basketball Tournament Champions. Three times a charm, the Lady Rebels is taking home their third straight Mountain West Championship title. They beat out San Diego State at the Thomas & Mack on Wednesday. The final score, 66-49. to They will learn their seed and opening round opponent this Sunday at the NCAA Selection Show. Current projections have them right there around 8 or the 9 seed. Well, students across Clark County and at UNLV, you now have a chance to have your artwork featured on the sphere. The globe that lights up our hearts is launching a student design challenge this month. More than 100,000 students are expected to participate. Eight winners will be chosen. The winning designs will be themed around the 4th of July and will debut on the sphere on Independence Day. Well, St. Patty's Day is this Sunday, but the festivities have already kicked off downtown, including the annual Shamrock Bash. The Bash going on right now runs through Sunday. 22 bands will perform on three stages. Stages. The celebration will also include Celtic dancers and then ending with a firefighters parade on Sunday. There is so much to do around the valley to get in the spirit of luck. Just scan the QR code right there on your screen and you'll be taken to our website, news3lv.com, where you will have a full list of things happening this weekend. Well, we'd be remiss if we didn't bring up one of the funniest stories ever surrounding St. Patty's Day. To me, it looked like a leprechaun to me. I got to do a look up in the tree. Who else in the leprechaun say yeah? Yeah! yeah! This is a throwback story that went viral years ago from our sister station down there in Mobile, Alabama. The entire neighborhood was in awe about a mysterious leprechaun that appeared near a tree if you like a good laugh, friends, uh, make sure you go watch it. Let us know if you come across some gold this weekend. I want to know what a gold is. I want the gold. Give me the gold. Give me the gold. Stay on top of the latest headlines on all of our News 3 social media platforms. For all of your latest with local news, like and give us a follow while you're there, too. That's all for today, friends. I'm Andrew Nomura. You've just gone off script.